Welcome to our Blender tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to precisely control displacement fields on surfaces. I will use a sphere with a lot of geometry to demonstrate the effect. When you use displacement, you will need a lot of vertices in general. At first, open the shader editor, create a noise texture node and plug it in the displacement output. To see the displacement, you'll have to enable it in the Materials tab under Surface. Select Displacement only or Displacement and Bump. If it is still not visible, you may have to enable the Experimental mode in the Render tab. Connect a Displacement node in between and plug the Noise Texture in the Height. Create a Mapping and a Texture Coordinate node to control the noise. I slide the mid-level of the displacement node to zero, that the faces are shifted only outwards, but that's optional. To get a precise control over specific areas, we use an empty object. Create a gradient texture node and use the object output of the texture coordinate node. Then select the empty object with it to sample the object data. Now you can control the noise with the object. Create a mix RGB node and connect both textures with it. Change the gradient texture to a quadratic sphere. With the gradient texture node, we create a sphere around our empty object, where the noise effect will be visible. Connect the mix RGB node to the displacement node. Then change the mix RGB node to multiply. Now the noise effect is only visible near the empty object, because the noise texture is multiplied with the gradient texture, which is just black, which means zero but close to the object it gets white, which means 1. Now you can move the empty object around to control where the noise displacement is visible. And because this is a shader, you can use it on any object. You only need to select the shader as the material. The only requirement is enough vertices on the object. To make the noise wobble seamlessly around, just keyframe any rotation at 0 degree at the first frame and 360 degree at the frame after the last frame. Then make the animation interpolation linear in the graph editor. Just select the graph, in this case I just selected everything, press T and select linear. Now the displacement noise is swirling around and you can control the area with the empty object. You can change the material at the displacement location for an even cooler effect. Use the mix shader node and use the mix RGB output as the factor. I connected a math multiply in between for a harder border for the mix shader. Now change the material for the second shader. With emission you can get cool melting effects on any object. And that's it, we are finished. You can play around with the noise pattern or other values to create some cool nice displacements. Have fun displacing around and see you soon.